Hi everyone, and welcome back to Civilization 6 as Eleanor. So, I decided to let the war go on a little bit longer. We'll see if we can do some damage to St. Petersburg. And if not, we can end the war in 5 turns, in 10 turns, or whatever. There's no downside. Anyway, we are going to start a city right here, and as soon as we start the city, I will move the trade route there. That's why I haven't used the trade route yet. We are also about to finish the Venetian arsenal, and we will work on our navy. That was kind of the point of building it in the first place. I made a few trades for amenities, so we should be mostly fine everywhere. Yeah, plus two, plus three. It shouldn't be a problem. Alright then, and I don't think I can do much else on this turn. We could still use more siege units, I only really have two bombards. And I'm about to merge them into one, but one step at a time. Right now I'd like to work on our navy first and foremost, because we are definitely going to need that. We are doing pretty well, but Australia is still quite a bit ahead. I might actually go after Australia next, we'll see about that. They do have some coastal cities. I mean, their original capital is coastal. I could actually take it with a navy, sort of. I would still need some land units, but I could take it. But let's not get ahead of ourselves just yet. Let's check the city-state. I think I'll focus on keeping Nan Mandol, because that's a really good bonus. I really do not want to lose it. Let's just focus on keeping that city-state. One more turn. We also need some forts. We are about to finish siege tactics. I'll build one fort over here and then another one, I don't know, somewhere else. I only really need them for the boost, nothing else. We could actually just get one right here, just to make it a little bit faster. Yep, let's just buy that tile and I'll get two forts in that general area. Okay, and let's get started on our new city. So this is going to be the location. We'll get the oil and a few decent tiles. We'll have free sea-based resources, so that will be helpful. And we also got plus two era score, because that's the first city on this particular continent. First, we'll grab the fish and probably buy the other one. Yeah, we have the money, we can just buy it. Yeah, let's buy the pearls and I might actually buy the silver. Just buy it. And we'll start from the monument. Or, as an alternative, I could buy the monument and then build city walls, because I can't build, I can't buy city walls, I have to actually build them. So let's get started on building them. I might even buy a granary, but we can do it later. Uh, also, Venetian Arsenal will not actually work to boost flight, because it's not an industrial era wonder. I think I'm just going to finish flight ASAP. Well, after siege tactics, because I don't need siege tactics. But flight immediately after, because I want the observation balloon. With the observation balloon, we could probably take St. Petersburg without too many problems. Should be doable quite easily. I would need at least one more bombard, but that's not really a huge problem. The Commonwealth and there it is, we got the Venetian arsenal. Nice. Happy is that city, which in time of a common mistake that people and make there's civil engineering. Something yeah, we don't need skyscrapers proof. right now, but it's it will be useful later. Ingenuity. Public works is also going to be useful. I think I might grab a public works. We don't need land surveyors anymore, unless I want to buy one more tile. Let's buy the oil up here. And I suppose I could buy the coal. It's a nice tile to work, if nothing else. We also got a governor title. I'm going to promote Magnus. We can get vertical integration eventually. So we'll grab surplus logistics, then industrialist, and then vertical integration. Which city is he in currently? Because that growth bonus can actually be quite useful. Right here. Yeah, that is useful. This city is growing at a reasonable rate. So, let's see if we can do some damage. Just need to merge the units first. There we go. It will be much easier with the observation balloon. But we can already start doing some damage. 
What's our actual uh, second highest production city? Because I know what my top production city is. Not quite sure about second top. Oh, actually, Paris is not our top production city. Our top production city has 62 hammers per turn. Interesting. But I would need to build a harbor. Which, I mean, I can do. But first I need 10 population, so we would have to wait 10 turns. But I will probably get the harbor next. The city does have quite a few really good production tiles. And here's the trade route we can use. Nice. We will even get plus one hammer for the city. And we are making 131 gold per turn. Not bad at all. all the best romances and we got siege tactics. Nice one. Now we can actually build the fort and then the second fort over here to get the boost. He's actually sending some units. Well, good for him. I might have to back up with the bombard to get my other guy in. Well, let's see how much damage we can do first. I can't quite kill him with the bombard. I can embark with the bombard and then move in. This should be fine. Maybe send the ship. Okay, we should be fine. I can actually kill him. Yep, he's down. Nice one. So, let's see how much damage we can do. I probably won't be able to take the city with just one bombard. But we'll see how much damage we'll be doing. Alright, one more fort and that will give us ballistics boost. And now we can move in. Just disembark on this side. That will keep us safe. And we'll see how much damage we can do. He will shoot us back, but I can just back up. I can also move in with the frigate as bait. And not much point moving into that guy, or is there? Well, I suppose there is. I can't actually kill him though, he will just get kicked back into the city. Not a whole lot of damage. And we got experience. Alright, let's see how much damage we can do in return. Probably not that much. Actually, that wasn't bad. It was better than I expected it to be. With another Bombard core and an observation balloon, I could actually see us taking the city. And maybe another frigate or two. We can work on the frigate now. I don't think I want to wait for the factory. I might actually just buy the factory. That would cost us 1500, which is a little bit expensive. But I would really like to focus on our navy at this point. Yeah, let's get some more frigates. That definitely won't hurt. And we can go get the coal. Just need to go around the cliff. Yep, he keeps asking for peace. But I'm not interested yet. How is his tech count? He is at 39, we are at 38. Australia is at 45. Brazil is at 44, and Shaka is at 41. Shaka is doing quite well in this game. Unlike Harald, he's at 30. Yeah, Indonesia is at 31. Okay, so Norway and Indonesia are basically irrelevant in this game at this point. Just something to keep in mind. Alright, let's just keep doing damage. I think we could actually take the city. I could see it happening. I can even bring my ships over here, just need to repair them first and merge them into a fleet. That would be the plan. Here's another core and we got mobilization boost. That will come in handy. Alright Russia, let's see what you got. Funny thing is, this mountain is actually preventing him from attacking my bombard and our spy succeeded. Nice one. He's actually focusing on the bombard as opposed to the frigate, which makes sense, that's fine. We might be able to do enough damage to the fortification without having to repair the bombard. How much would a brand new bombard cost us? Around 800, right? Or 1000? 1100. I'm actually really tempted to do that, but first we need to get an observation balloon, because there's no real point getting a bombard without an observation balloon. A the request? Oh yeah, that's for us. Sure, let's add the proposal. Works for me, that way people will send us money. Not that I really need more money, but more money is literally never a bad thing. 
I don't think he's actually smart enough to embark units and send them to the other side of the mountain. Military emergency. Against us. Yeah, because we captured Moscow. I will vote against that. We do have quite a lot of diplomatic favor. Let's just use that then. Here. Five votes will be enough. We got quite a few friends. Five votes might be overkill, actually. Moderate flood. And it failed. Good. Yeah, five votes was overkill, but I didn't want that to pass. Plus one error score. Once you have tasted and we got flight. Yeah, that's quite a few damage tiles. Oh well. I will have to repair a few things. Is any actually improvement damaged? Uh, some just got removed completely, or did they? No, looks fine to me. I do have a builder here. I kept him specifically for repairs. And yeah, this was another flood around Paris. I'm repairing the districts. This is all districts, unfortunately. Okay, fine. Next up, ballistics. That's a no-brainer, I guess. Ballistics as well as military science. But first, let's get ballistics. We can get a few field cannons. Back to our siege, if you can call it a siege. There's a promotion. And let's bring our ship over here. I'm just going to merge them, obviously. There it is. And I'm not even going to wait for the repairs. We'll just send them right away. And we can embark with some melee units. In case we'll need them, which we might. I mean, somebody has to actually physically capture the city, you know? And I will accept all the gifts. That was kind of the point. It probably won't be an amazing amount of gold, but it adds up. They are sending us some gold per turn. I certainly appreciate that. Yep, he wants to make peace. I'm not quite interested in that. Sorry, bro. And another flood. Yeah, this is getting a little bit annoying. I'm actually playing with disasters set to 3, not 4, by the way. Just something I should mention. Alright, I will pick up the promotion. How's our health on the bombard? 57 out of 100. Yeah, let's keep it up. We can still do the damage. Yep, this is actually a little bit annoying. Just need to do more repairs. Fine, we'll do more repairs. Not that I really have a big choice. It's not like I'm going to leave these tiles damaged. We probably want walls in Moscow. <laughs> And I'm not really disembarking anything, because that would be a rather poor idea. It would be just a little bit suicidal. I'll just move closer, and that's it. And stay one tile out of bombardment range of the city. Here. That will be just fine. And move our caravel fleet. We can use the caravel fleet to capture the city, although it will probably take it a little bit too long to actually arrive here. Now, about that bombard. We don't need an observation balloon. I could buy one for 960. Let's just buy one. It's a little bit expensive, but I suppose we need it. More damage. And then I'm kind of tempted to just buy a bombard. Oh, screw it. Let's just buy a bombard. It's fine. I'm pretty sure we can take the city. It should be doable. And then we can peace out. We are making good money, so it wasn't really that much money, to be honest. And it will be worth it. What I like about cities and we got urbanization, so that unlocks place, the neighborhood. Beauty and the ugliness. So, let's do some more damage. I will back up with a bombard in just a moment. How far can we move the balloon? Oh, we can move it far enough. I won't be able to attack on this turn, but that's okay. We got safe distance. The city is down to 58 fortification health, out of 300 total. It will definitely be ours, unless he has some surprises up his sleeve, which he probably does not. Next up, colonialism. And we got the frigates, nice. Let's merge them right away. And we can get two more frigates, I don't see why not. We will definitely need them, so let's get more. That was the whole idea behind building the Venetian arsenal. 
And since I got that crossbowman, let's attack with the crossbowman. He can get some experience, if nothing else. It's mostly for the experience, not necessarily for the damage that he will do. Improve the coal. That's a very nice tile to work. And we got another World Congress. Plus 100% production towards buildings in this district. Let's just vote for the city center. And the border control treaty. Oh yeah, that one. Let's vote for ourselves. I actually managed to get that last time. Maybe we can get it again. Yeah, let's use two votes. Well, no, one vote. I'm not that desperate. It's a nice bonus, but we don't exactly need it all that much. And it's not like I can build that many more districts at this point. Yeah, we actually got it. Yeah, we did. Nice. And yep, city center. Good. Alright, back to the city. It should be ours within like one, maybe two turns. I got one more bombard I can attack with. Yeah, let's back up with the crossbowman and move in with the bombard. That way we'll do more damage on the next turn. Here. Yeah, his fortification is almost entirely gone. I think it's this particular city location happened. basically broke the but AI. We speculate on that. And yes, we finished ballistics. Because he's really confused what he's supposed to do right now. He's pretty much incapable of attacking my units that are bombarding the city. He's just moving back and forth with his units. So I think I basically broke the AI with this particular location. Not that it's very hard to break the AI in Civ 6. <laughs> That's not a particularly impressive achievement, I'm just saying. And yes, I can see the caravel over there. Well, let's perhaps back up a bit with our dudes. But I will focus on the city. Actually, we can take the city on the next turn. I can almost take it on this one. Almost. Let's give it one more. Attack the caravel. And we got more ships coming in. I can sink the caravel right now, in fact. Down it goes. Nice. And next up, we'll get military science. And we also got a great engineer. 480 production towards water construction with two charges. That is going to be very, very useful. There are still quite a few really good wonders coming up. Oh yeah, we should build an aerodrome. Maybe not in Moscow in particular, but I'll have to build it somewhere. And I mean, it's as good of a location as any. And we got steam power boost. I think we can take the city now. We should be able to do that. Let's find out. We got a promotion available, so I can heal up the bombard on the next turn. More damage. Yeah, this looks fine. And it's ours. Nice. And that also gives us Divine Ride boost, as well as Economics boost. So now we can peace out. Unless we want to kill some more units. I think we've done enough. Let's take a look. I like how we actually got 75 grievances towards them still. So yeah, nobody cares that we did this. It's pretty funny. He did declare surprise war, if I remember right. Oh, hold on. Would he actually give us another city? Wait. Oh, he wants me to pay. He probably thinks he can retake it. I don't think he can retake the city. But... I don't want to lose population in it. We got 9 population. Let's just give him some gold, it's fine. So this feels super backwards, giving him the money, but I'm going to do it specifically because I don't want to lose population in Moscow. Let's just do it, it's fine. Okay, so we got the capital city. First, we should probably move an advisor here. Is there a theater square district inside? There is not, so I cannot move my great works here, sadly. We might be able to do it eventually, but we got a commercial hub, we got a campus, and we got a harbor. The campus is going to be useful for sure. We need to catch up to Australia a little bit. First, let's repair all of these, and then build walls. 
And also, that's going to be the end of this episode, so thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, leave a like if you did, or a dislike if you didn't. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.